Welcome to this video on how to install and run Kali Linux on a USB drive. I promise this tutorial won't be as boring as those 3 hour lectures you had in college. So grab your favorite energy drink, put on your hoodie like Elliot and let's get started. I'll walk you through all the steps to create a bootable Kali Linux USB drive that you can use on any computer. Now before we get started, let me ask you a question. Have you ever wanted to feel like a hacker without breaking any law? If yes, then Kali Linux is for you. With Kali, you can simulate a hacker's environment and learn cybersecurity skills that will make you feel like a secret agent. So let's get started. First thing first, head over to the Kali Linux website and download the ISO image. Just search for Kali Linux. Click on the first link. Click on the download button. You scroll down to the live section. Here download the recommended one. Make sure you choose the version that's compatible with your computer's architecture unless you are playing into a dangerous game of Russian roulette with your OS. Minus 64 bit, so I will download this. I have already downloaded it, so I'll skip this part. Now you are gonna need a USB drive with at least 8 GB of space. If you are like me, you probably have a drawer full of random USB drives lying around. Just make sure you choose the right one or you might accidentally erase all your selfies and end up with a bootable Kali Linux USB drive filled with regret. Next, you will need to download Rufus, a free open source tool used for creating bootable USB drives. Rufus is like the new rips of software. It's fast, efficient and always gets the job done. You can download Rufus from their official website. Just search for Rufus and download the portable version. Once you have installed Rufus, launch the application and insert your USB drive, Rufus should automatically detect your USB. Under the device section, just select your USB. Under the boost selection, click select button. Browse to the location where you have downloaded the Linux ISO image. Click open. Under persistence partition size, Move the slider in the range of 5 to 7 GB. Mine USB is of 16 GB, so I'll be giving 7 GB to install Linux. If you have 8 GB, then you can go for 5 GB. Leave all other settings as default and click start. Rufus will now create a bootable Kali Linux USB drive depending on the speed of your USB. This process may take several minutes, so wait for a bit. Alright, it's show time. Restart computer in BIOS mode. You can do that by pressing shift on the keyboard and clicking restart. It will restart in the advanced options. From there you can restart in the BIOS mode. You will get the blue screen like this, click on troubleshoot, click on advanced option, then click on UEFI firmware settings option, and click restart. Now you will enter in the BIOS mode and from here you go to the security tab and disable the secure boot options so that you can boot from your USB drive and set your USB as first boot device option. Save the changes and access the BIOS. Now boot it from your USB. Alright, you are almost there. Now you are in the boot menu of Kali Linux. Here select the persistence option so that whatever changes you do your data will be saved. And voila you are now running Kali Linux live on your USB drive. And that's it Fox. You have successfully installed and ran Kali Linux live on your USB drive. You can use Kali Linux without installing it in your computer. This means you can try all Kali Linux tools without affecting your computer's operating system. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful and that you have learned something new. Remember to use it ethically and responsibly and don't forget to have fun while you learn. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and if you have any questions and suggestions feel free to comment and as always stay curious 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.